Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Mentz and I'm a wildlife photographer specializing in bird photography. And in this video, I want to share five gift ideas that are going to be in a range of prices. So I got 25, 50, 100, 250, and around a $500 gift idea for a wildlife photographer, which can be either yourself or someone else that you know. I'm just going to go over each of these and talk about why I use them. And if that sounds like you or someone you know, then you might want to check them out yourself. So I got links to all these in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so first up on the list is going to be the Hot Hands Hand Warmers. And specifically, you want to get a big batch of these. So this is a 40 pack. And uh, why you want to do that is because if you just get a couple of them as like a stocking stuffer, it's it kind of feels like you always have to wait for like, uh, like a big blizzard or something to feel justified in opening one of them and using them. Whereas if you just have a big pack of these, it's no big deal if you want to crack one of these open for any old cold day and want to be comfortable. So the reason I wear these is because uh, it's nice for wildlife photography when you're using gloves because uh, the thicker the gloves, the harder it is to feel the camera controls and stuff. So if you use thinner gloves but use a hand warmer with it, um, it's kind of best of both worlds. Your hands stay warm but you can also be able to feel your camera and get around that way. So I recommend just getting a big pack of these. Uh, get them off Amazon, they're 25 bucks for a 40 pack of these, so check them out. Next up is going to be the Lens Coat Lens Sack. And where these are useful uh, is gonna be shooting from your car. So if you roll down your window and throw this over the windowsill, you got a nice stable platform to rest a long lens on. And it's great if you're waiting for long periods of time because you don't have to have your hands on the lens. You can kind of just let your camera go and it's going to be stable enough um, to rest on there without, you know, having your hands on it all the time, which is great because a lot of time wildlife take a long time to show up or to do something special worth photographing. Um, so this is great in those instances. I will say that it does not come with any filling. So for $30, you just get the lens coat lens sack. But if you're gifting this to someone else, you probably want to uh, include some kind of filling with it so that it's ready to go right away. And for that, I use the uh, buckwheat hulls. And so these are super lightweight while taking up quite a bit of volume, which is great. Otherwise, cheaper alternatives are gonna be like pinto beans or like sunflower seeds and stuff. The problem with those are they're very heavy. So it would definitely be a car only kind of thing. And even then it's just kind of annoying to deal with. I had the pinto beans in here before. It's just so heavy. Um, so what's great about the uh, buckwheat hulls is how they're so light that this becomes more useful that you can just strap it to a backpack too and carry it with you into the field in case you need a stable low platform. So it opens up its uses if you have something lighter inside. Next up, we're going to talk about these uh, mittens here. And I like the mittens because when I'm doing the video work, all I really need is a thumb. So uh, these are great. So the rest of my hand can be nice and close together, keeping warm, whereas this is like a snap closure for the thumb. So the, only my thumb can be exposed and, you know, controlling the dials and stuff for that. Uh, otherwise, if you do need your fingers, I'll just show you here without a inner glove, this top side does uh, zipper down and you can expose uh, just one finger if you need it or you can expose your whole hand like that. It does have a snap closure for the top side. So if you snap it like that, um, it keeps the, the mitten part out of the way. So you got all your fingers exposed here and then for the thumb, it's got a little magnetic uh, snap back there. And so uh, when you want to use that, you probably don't want to have your whole hand exposed like that. It comes with these liner gloves. Uh, so you can use these separately, of course, if it's not too cold out. But if it, uh, the temperature starts dropping, you can uh, slip the mitt on. So this is with uh, all the fingers exposed there with the mitt. And you can snap back here so you got your thumb. Otherwise, uh, it gets cold. Put it back in the, the mitt like that. And for me, this is how I'm using it a lot of times. So I just got my thumb exposed here. I will say I'm not a big fan of these uh, liner gloves that it comes with, uh, but it's kind of inconsequential because uh, for the price, you're just basically paying for the mittens and these are a freebie. But uh, you'd probably want to bring your own gloves just because these aren't really touch enabled despite what it says on the website. In practice, they don't really register on my phone or add a most recorder or anything like that. So bring your own gloves and use the mittens because these are great. All right, next on the gift list is going to be the Shimoda Explore 40 or the Explore 60. 
and this is not either of those, but I'm using this as a placeholder because this is a Shimoda backpack. And the reason I'm recommending the other two, which are backpacks that I haven't personally used, but are on this list anyways, is because I have used this one and I know what the quality of Shimoda is like. And I did put my money where my mouth is. Uh, I did buy the Shimoda Explore 40. It's just that it arrives tomorrow, not in time for this video. So I do have that coming and I do recommend it because uh, from everything I've seen, from using another one of their bags, uh, Shimoda does things really nicely. Um, I will say that the big reason that you want to be looking at the Explore 40 or the Explore 60 is because they're on a huge discount right now. Throughout December, they're on sale, so uh, the price is significantly dropped. And what you can do is uh, you can buy the bag and then you can also stack on top of it a coupon code, which is an additional 10% off. And so it just makes it a great time to be buying one of those two bags that are on sale. And then uh, the way these bags work is there's an external or a removable core unit that you put inside that come in different sizes to hold different amounts of gear. So what I'd recommend for a wildlife photographer is to buy the large core unit and you can buy the, the version one. There's a V2, um, which has like a side opening, which does not uh, pertain to the Explore 40 or Explore 60 backpacks. So just buy the cheaper V1 large core unit. And together, those two should uh, be around $250. Um, so it's just a great time to be buying one of those two backpacks if you're in need of one of those for a gift. Last up is going to be the Lassie Rugged Boss SSD. It's a one terabyte drive. And if you do any amount of traveling at all, which I know a lot of photographers or wildlife photographers do, um, it's great to have for uh, peace of mind because you can back up your stuff right in the field with this. You don't need to bring along a computer or anything like that. Um, you just uh, you can either slide in an SD memory card in here to copy over from. You can copy directly from a camera with a USB cable. You can hook up another hard drive to this one and copy that over. Or you can just use it as a SSD drive by itself. Um, you can just hook this up to a computer and just travel with it that way. It also works as a power bank so you can charge your phone with it in the field. It's just uh, it's really nice to have around. I really wish I had this thing back when I was in Jackson Hole because actually ran out of memory cards then and if I was able to just dump those onto here and keep on shooting that would have been awesome. Um, luckily I figured out a way around that uh, dumping them elsewhere but uh, this would have been great uh, to have and not have to bother anyone else with my issues. <laughs> Alright everyone thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this gave you a few ideas on what you can gift that uh, special someone. Maybe that's yourself but uh I also made a brand new gear page where I list everything that I use for wildlife photography. So this is obviously a very limited selection here, but if you want even more ideas, I guess check out that page. It's also in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.